Hello friends, today I will teach you pathophysiology of nephrotic syndrome in very simplified way and at last I will also discuss complications of nephrotic syndrome. Do watch full video for better understanding. As you all might be knowing that nephrotic syndrome will present with tetrad of proteinuria which is more than 3.5 gram per day, hyperlipidemia that is increased lipid levels in the blood, hypoalbuminemia and peripheral edema. Let's see how all this occurs. Basically, what we have in kidney is glomerulus with its efferent and efferent arterioles. Fluids from glomerulus are collected in Bowman's capsules, which contain special cells called as podocytes. Normally, protein can't be filtered through glomerulus due to presence of podocytes. In nephrotic syndrome, due to inflammation or complement activation, there is damage to glomerulus and also there is damage to podocytes. Due to this damage, proteins, including albumin, will leak through glomerulus and it will be excreted in urine and this is called as proteinuria. Here protein is excreted more than 3.5 grams per day and this also leads to hypoalbuminemia. Due to hypoalbuminemia, there is reduced intravascular oncotic pressure. As oncotic pressure is pulling or holding pressure, it will cause extravasation of fluid into extracellular space. This extravasation of fluid causes decreased circulatory blood volume which leads to activation of renin-angiotensin system, elevated aldosterone and elevation of vasopressin. These three together will cause sodium and water retention, which leads to edema. This low plasma colloid oncotic pressure stimulates hepatic lipoprotein synthesis, which causes hyperlipidemia, which in turn increases the risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. So this covers basic pathophysiology of nephrotic syndrome. There are more additional features also as a consequence of protein loss, which are pleural effusion and ascites, which is due to hypoalbuminemia. Then, urinary loss of thyroxine binding globulin can cause abnormalities in thyroid function test. Then, loss of antithrombin 3 can lead to hypercoagulable state and renal vein thrombosis. Then, loss of cholecalcifelor binding protein may lead to vitamin D deficiency state. And last is loss of transferrin may lead to microcytic hypochromic anemia. So guys, these were all about nephrotic syndrome pathophysiology and its complications. I hope you liked the video. Do share this video among your friends and also watch our other videos on various topics. Thank you.